All right, this is the advanced version of the inchworm exercise that I showed you. We're going to be using a ball. Uh, the bigger and the firmer the ball, the better. So that's one definite tip that I can give you. It's great for strengthening your lower abdominal muscles, also toning your core muscles, and it challenges your balance. It's a little bit more intermediate. And what we're, I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you how to do the, ex how to do the exercise. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing first because I do tend to get a little bit out of breath when I'm doing the exercise. Now I'm going to be walking myself forward with my hands on the floor. My legs are going to stay on the ball and I'm going to come up into a pike position on the ball, keeping my hands on the floor, my feet on the ball. And my body is going to come up nice and high in my bum area, my buttocks, and it's going to look like a pike. So it looks like this. I bring the ball in front of me. I'm going to come down with my tummy on the ball. And I'm going to bring my hands onto the floor and I'm going to walk my body forward. So give a little push off. Already, because I'm walking my body forward, I need to make sure that my abdominals are tucked in. So I'm really pulling in those muscles nice and tight. I'm going to walk forward enough so that my shins and my knees are still a little bit on the ball. If you come forward too far, too far it's, it's definitely not only uncomfortable, but it makes it very, very difficult to do the exercise. And you could also hurt your lower back a bit too. So remember knees, shins, and feet on the ball. So I'm coming up into a pike position. I'm going to keep those abs super tight, my legs somewhat straight, and I'm really going to use my feet on the ball to help pu pull the ball in towards me. It looks like this. Breathe in and breathe out. So you can see my end position. My feet are on the ball. I come back down, original position. I'm going to avoid hammock that we talked about earlier. Make sure I don't do that so I don't hurt my back. And I'm going to go again. Proper position of the hands is making sure that they're right below the shoulders so you do not hurt your shoulder cap area. You can see this is a little bit of work for me. It's a challenging exercise, but a really fun exercise to test yourself on and to bring into your routine once you've mastered all the mat exercises. When you're done, try and walk back trying to stay on the ball. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> and there you go. Phew, that's a workout. <laughs>